if you don't give him a contract, he's not going to go and demand you and say, I want an extension of my contract or so I'm off because okay, he can't so you, believe he's got the main United Are job. you suggesting that they should have let his contract run out, which it runs out next summer? No, it's not, initial one. Or, no not ne- necessarily let it run out. But as Leanne said there, normally you reward, reward somebody for success. So he, his success is making Manchester United the atmosphere around the, the training ground and the players a lot better, you know, making... Manchester United players actually be bothered about playing for mm-hmm. Manchester United. So improving certain players imp- like Luke Shaw, he's for example. He's improved certain players, but he's lost four semi-finals and he's lost a final. Mm-hmm. Now, Manchester United, you should be expecting to win trophies. Yeah, but that's just like saying that Arsenal should be expecting to win. No, no, we, they no, so no it's completely different because Arsenal haven't got the resources that Manchester United have. They don't spend the money mm-hmm. that Manchester United spend. They can't pay the wages that Manchester United pay, right? Okay, so, so would you argue with any of the signings that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has made? Um, Van der Beek probably hasn't really yeah, s- okay. set himself yeah. in. But it's not the sign. Sam went, so they're giving Ole Gunnar Solskjaer a reward for being the best of the rest. At the moment, they're, they're 12 points behind Man City. So I'm not saying he hasn't improved Manchester United because... Only one team can win the league. No, it doesn't nah, matter. But but we, so so this, the, you're, you're rewarding some for being... The best of the rest for coming second. Manchester United. So who should they go and get there? So uh, okay, they shouldn't have appointed him. No, and people have thought this. Steve, Steve made uh, in Maidstone's just coming. Can I, can I add another sounds of the weekend subject, please, uh, and suggest money for nothing by Dire Straits for Oli Gunnar Solskjaer? Because he hasn't uh, achieved anything. He hasn't won anything. When you're playing with the big, no, he hasn't won anything. Your but club. to say he hasn't achieved anything is wrong. I mean, I, I've been well, lucky he's... enough to spend quite a lot of time with Manchester United over the last couple of years, and he, I went to Cologne with them. The, you know, the, the fact that they got to that level. I mean, yes, they they did falter Sam, in the semi. Where else is he going? Is he going to go knocking on Ed Woodward's door and say, "If you don't give me a new contract with more money, I'm off"? I agree with Perry. I don't think he's many not going to do that. So what, so what should they have done then? Just let it go. Just say, yeah. "Right, we need. We've improved. Now your task." is to win trophies, to win uh, league titles. Just I think Man United are a little bit apprehensive though and scared because look at the appointments we've made since Alex Ferguson. You know, David Moyes, I think he was almost up to fail coming in after but that was for Alex, Alex Ferguson's Ferguson. fault because he was his recommendation. Louis van Gaal, you know, Mourinho. Won an FA Cup, won right. Europa League and but League Cup. At the same time, I think you look at the other managers that are out there, you've got Max Allegri. Let me ask you this question. When Jose Mourinho left, what was the atmosphere like at Old Trafford? Not great. Toxic. Okay, what's it like now? Better. But you don't right. get rewarded just because you make right. the atmosphere better. But he's uh, the players seem happier. They, they play, yes. They've played but, some good football and they've signed Bruno Fernandes, Harry Maguire, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Jadon Sancho. Oh, no, no. wan no, they're looking for another right-back, by the way. So They might be looking for another right-back, but you've got to have, they haven't got another right-back. So they've got it, one right-back. You need two right-backs in a squad. The thing that, he, that Manchester United yeah, did he's wrong, done okay. If, would you put Oli Gooder Solskjaer at the next level? He's probably the best one-on-one defender in the league. Are Manchester United an elite football club? Yeah. yeah. Is Oli Gooder Solskjaer an elite manager? Absolutely not. No. He's, he wouldn't be in your top... 10 of the managers in the world. So who do we get 15. then? That's what we're saying. Like, so but, someone like Max Allegri is available. Well, there you go. But who else is there available at this moment in time? Do you is know what I mean? Today? I think what it has done is it has increased the pressure on Solskjaer to deliver silverware But you don't give him a reward on, before. Right? What you say to him is, you say, we like the project that you've set out and the way that we're progressing. As you said, Sam, you've changed the, f- the atmosphere around the dressing room. Paul Pogba, he's actually man- man-managed him very well. That's uh, that's a and sure. Tick. Yeah, exactly. He's man man. Luke Shaw was always a player in there. It's only because Mourinho destroyed him. Yeah. Made a decision <laughs> about that's Lukaku that's very quickly and yes. moved him on. So it but, wasn't but then you say to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, we we have progressed, but your next level is you have to win trophies or be closer to Man City mm-hmm. or whoever's at the top of the Premier League. But it's but all that, very well that, that the takes a long time happy. to build, doesn't it? And th- this is Solskjaer's what, been in I, charge since 2018. This is what Edward Wood said. He said, uh, well, he's more confident than ever that Solskjaer was the man to take them forward. Oli and his staff have worked tirelessly putting the foundations in place for long-term success on the pitch. Well, That's got to be the job, hasn't well, it? Long-term yeah, but success. Edward Wood's opinion at this moment in time I don't think is very credible to Manchester United fans. So he, he has to come up with something like that. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that... He, Manchester, this is Manchester United. Exactly. I agree with what Perry said saying you know and okay. at the end right. of the day we haven't won anything and where is the progression and great the players are happy but yes. do we just want play- I'm happy they're happy do you but think, we're not winning you know Chelsea fans right under Thomas Tuchel Frank Lampard was very much the same as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as you said like an ex-legend he got the job because he's an ex-legend Solskjaer was put in there to steady the ship and make it like Pellegrini when he went at Man City you know under Mancini when he just upset everybody right <laughs> so then Chelsea fans look at Frank Lampard obviously being the legend 
got you into uh, Champions League with younger players, then was out of his depth tactically in his second season because he's learning his trade. So harsh you are. Right? You are so he's, harsh. He's think, right, though, what do you he's saying. with Thomas Tuchel, when, you, when he improved your team as much as we did and you've won the Champions League, Chelsea fans would have been going, for God's sake, get this man signed on a, like a, for Chelsea a long-term contract, which is probably six months or 12 months. Yeah, forever. it's four weeks, actually. Right, there you go. But <laughs> then, then Chelsea fans, we know what we're going with this manager. Man United fans, not one Man United fan, we're thinking, I'll tell you what, we've got to get Oli signed up here because he could be off. Okay, here's a little quiz It doesn't for you. make any it's business true. sense. Uh, just, just, just to highlight the progression, uh, David Moyes obviously only in charge for a little while, but his win percentage in charge of Manchester United, the immediate successor to uh, Sir Alex Ferguson. Yes. 17 wins, 6 draws, 11 losses, 50%. Louis van Gaal came after that, 2014-2016. 39 wins, 19 draws, 18 defeats. A win percentage of 51.3. We're going in the right direction. Uh, Jose Mourinho, 2016-2018. 50 wins, 26 draws, 17 losses. It's a win percentage of 53.8. Wow, we're still going in the right direction. I know where you're going. And finally, <laughs> you're and going. finally Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, 2018 to present. 84 wins, 34 draws, 33 losses. A win percentage of 55.6. Wow. So That's why I don't like stats. How many... <laughs> so he's top of the trick. How many, how many uh, trophies? Lou Van Hal, FA Cup, right? Mourinho, who upset everybody and didn't really want to be there, wins League Cup and Europa, Europa League. League. Come on, yeah, they, could have got, they could have got lucky and won the Europa League this year. Easy. If someone, you know, if the Harris saved one penalty or whatever. No, you know? no but that's football, if, though. You can't say... Ends, I mean, well, England have would have won the Euros if we weren't right, lost. Right, so <laughs> you're playing in the final. And to be fair to you, Emery, he did a tactical job on... Arsenal, because Arteta wasn't up to Unai Emery's level tactically. Unai Emery did a job on Manchester United in the final. Villarreal were the seventh best team in the Liga last year. So if they were going to win a trophy, that was the time. And Emery's win percentage is better than Arteta's, if we want to talk about win percentages. Is Arteta elite? Is he? Elite. Elite? No, absolutely not. I've never said he's elite. He's learning his trade. I didn't, at the first Maybe Solskjaer's learning his trade. But he hasn't... Arteta's won the FA Cup. So Arteta is a more successful manager that in winning. That doesn't count. That FA Cup doesn't count. It's been behind closed doors. And oh, what? It doesn't it count. Lucky. No, exactly. Yeah. And you had 15 players sent off. And, <laughs> and someone pulled their hamstring. I remember that. Eight, eight went down with cramp. Right. Okay. Let's get. 